In today's episode, we're traveling all the way to Belgium to face Anderlecht in the Champions League. They lost their first game against Atletico Madrid, so we can pick up three points. Six points from two games will put us in a strong position for qualification. We've also got Wolves in the Premier League who are lower end of the table. Should be a routine win, but it is the Premier League. Anyone could beat anyone, you never know. Let's hope for two wins today. What is happening guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan and welcome to episode 35 of the Saving the Swan series. Not much going on since you've been last with us as there's only been two games really. There was the home game in the Carabao Cup which we lost 1-0 to Liverpool. But as you can see on the right hand side we did play a very much a rotated team. You know we had Young, Alvaro, Akanji, Target, Coman, Sancho, AU. You know, apart from Sancho, really. But the rest of them aren't really first-team players. So, to only lose 1-0 wasn't too bad. It was only till the 84th minute where Liverpool kind of struck against us. But we did win in the Premier League. We won 3-1 away from home at Watford. Lucas got two goals. Milic grabbed himself one in the 80th minute. Still not really convinced on him. But he is going to start today. We've got Anderlecht in the Champions League. We've got Wolves in the Premier League today. So let's have a look at our tactics for Anderlecht. We are away from home, but we are the favourites. So I'm going to be going with a attacking formation going forward. So Timo Horn, Montoya, Ekanji's going to come in for Lascelles. Oh, sorry, Ekanji's going to come in for uh, Rodrigo Caio. He's not fully fit, and I want to give Ekanji a chance in the team. Target a left-back. Mesa Almiron in the middle. Lucas on the right. Sancho on the left, because... Pereira still isn't, he's back in training, but he's not really fully fit right now. So we're going to keep Sancho in as our left winger. Correa attacking mid and Milic up front. So I am hoping to get a result against Anderlecht. And <laughs> what sort of formation is this? So Anderlecht are parking the bus, so it seems, as they've literally got three centre-backs, two DMs, Two wing backs and two centre midfielders with one striker. So I'm kind of glad that we're going uh, attacking. So we're going to let the players pick up where they left off. And we're going to get the game underway. And a win against Anderlecht today would really help us in our Champions League qualification hopes to get into the round of 16. Because the board just wants us to get to the group stage, which we've already done anyway. But Correa's going to whip one in. No, he gets to Almira on the outside of the box. Oh, but it's tackled because they have like 10 defenders. And Achim Pong's on the wing, so they're going to counter-attack, it seems. But Montoya, cool as you like, wins the ball back. So we're on control. But I think, to be honest with you, I think Art and Delect will be very happy to sit back and let us play football as they keep like every single man behind the ball except for their striker. But Lucas is on the wing. Decent cross. Oh, but Kuzman's with the save. It's a very long highlight, but Sancho wins the ball back. Mm, it's a poor shot, though. And it does go wide of the post. Armiro's looking a bit nervous, looking at the baldy language there. We are being overrun in midfield. I, I'm not surprised by that fact whatsoever, considering they, they've got every man in midfield. And Correa's gone down injured. Potential foot injury. So we'll do a bit of a reshuffle. We'll put Almir on as the attack in mid. We'll bring on Lorente as the advanced playmaker. We'll make Almir on an attacking midfielder. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So we're going to make the change. Which doesn't really appear to do much. As we're going to go into half-time nil-nil. I kind of want them to... You know, we are away from home. So we don't want to be too harsh on the team. But I think we're going to go attacking. We're going to try and push the lead. Or try to push to get the lead. In this game. Would I take... <coughs> would I take a nil-nil? Would I take a nil-nil? Probably so. 
but an hour in and nothing of note is happening. So Milic is on six point three. We're gonna give we're gonna give Florian Coman a chance. He's all loney. So hopefully he can make an immediate impact. And six point four, Lucas is not having the best of games, but we have already made two subs. So I'm not gonna make too many just in case somebody gets injured. And really nothing much to write home about. I'm gonna tell him to push forward. So we've only had one shot on target. But Lorente. So we are going to be pushing forward now. Montoya on the right hand side. Lucas, can we possibly steal a victory? I mean, a draw isn't the worst result away from home, but it is Anderlecht. We really should be beating this team. Target. Crosses it over. And Coleman with a header over the bar. It doesn't look like much is going to be happening in this game. But we do have a highlight in the 90th minute. Nearly 91st minute. Oh, Almiron wins the ball. Oh, Almiron, you had so much time. You had so much time and you had the man with you. Makes it with the cross. Lascelles off the post. And we get it in the goal. And it's a 91st minute. A 91st minute winner. A Kanji with the goal. Mesa crosses it in, Lascelles in off the crossbar, Coleman tries to slide it in, and Akanji with the goal. So we do get the goal that we're after, and I, I'm very happy with that result. Can we get a second though? Lorente. Well, not, not like that, Mesa. But it is all over. We get the 1 0 win. It took us a 90 second minute to get it, but we did get it, which is the important thing. And we get 1.3 million for the win. And Korea's out for four weeks, which adds to our injury crisis of Nordfeld, Nordfeld three weeks, Rika three months, Korea four weeks, Harry Wilson five months. So four of our first team go down, and it looks like we're going to have to do another reshuffle for the next game. But we do get the 1 0 win, and we're going to look at the Champions League table. I know Atletico and Juventus haven't played, but two out of two, we're top of our Champions League group. And that's where we want to stay. So we've now got the game against Wolves, which is at home. Hopefully we can get a good result at home. That'll push us up the league. We're kind of the best of the rest right now. Because you've got United and City kind of pulling away right now. But as we said before, Europa League football is the target. So we'll come back for the Wolves game. We'll see how we get on. Double award winners this month as Lucas Moura wins September player of the month scintillating form three appearances three goals 8.17 average rating beats out Icardi and Richarlson to get the award well done Lucas Mora he appreciates it I think Lucas Mora is now like loving life at Swansea he like he's a Swansea supporter well he's a favourite clubs at Swansea and I am on his personal favourite personnel personal favourite personnel but also, not just Lucas, we've got Jaden Sancho as the young player of the month. He's had three appearances, two goals, 7.10 average rating. We're going to congratulate him on his award. And he's happy with that as well. So, well done to the players. Hopefully, they can carry their good form into the next league game. So, a few changes need to be made for the Wolves game today. Bearing in mind we played midweek. Staying attacking as we are at home, but Timo Horn retains his place. Montoya, Rodrigo Caio comes back into the team. I know Akanji scored, but we need to give him a rest. As he did well, you know, we don't want to overwork him. So Rodrigo Caio, LaSalle's target at the back. Marco Raw comes in for Mesa. Lorente comes in for the injured Correa. So Almiron's going to be pushing up into the attacking midfield position. Lucas Moore on the right-hand side. Pereira's going to come back into the team on the left. Almiron in the middle because Correa's injured. And Coman is going to go up front instead of Milic. I'm hoping to see a big game out of Florial Coman today. Let's see what the Wolves looks like. So, two DMs on the looks of it. So, no midfield. So, they've gone for the three. So, they've gone for both the defensive and the attacking with nobody in the middle. So, hopefully, we can exploit the middle. We get the game underway. So Wolves are 16th as we speak. We are third in the league. So a win would 
help cement a top three position. Can we get an early goal though? Almiron tries to get to Coleman. Plays in Lucas. That's a nice ball. Crosses it in. Oh, I was thinking it could have been an early goal there. But it is not to be. So we'll have a bit of a gauge of the game. See how things are going. It looks to be all Wolves at the moment. They get all the possession. Crosses in from the corner. But Marco Raw clears. And Pereira with a counter-attack. Lucas is up there. We've got men coming forward now. Rog to Almiron. Almiron's going to go to the wing to cross it. He does. Lorente. It's 1-0 to Swansea City. Marcus Lorente with the goal. Almiron did so well with the assist there. So it's, it breaks from their corner. Lucas holds it up to Rog. And this is where the men start coming forward. Almiron uses his skill to get onto the wing. It's a pinpoint cross. He just knew where Lorente was. And slots it in the corner. For a 1-0 lead. Lucas with a corner. Cleared by Eagles. To f for Pereira. He goes for it again. Hits the post. Could have been two. Could have been two. But Pereira now. Lorente is trying to find Rog. He does find him. Rog to Lucas. To Coleman. Oof, I'm hoping for big things from Florian Coleman today. He's going to try and prove himself that he can take Milch's place in the team. But LaSalle from the back. Pereira's picked it up on that left-hand side. It's his first game back from injury. Target crosses it in. Tries to get to Rog. Target's done very well for when rika has been out injured. I'm very impressed with him. Pereira crosses it though. Oh, Coleman. And it's Lucas with a tap in. I thought it was going to be a penalty for Coleman going down. But Lucas gets the easy tap in. And Pereira gets the assist. So let me see that again. I was too busy looking at Coleman going down in the box. So Lorente finds Pereira. Crosses it in. Oh no, it, does, it, just, it just misses Coleman completely. It goes over the goalie's head. And Lucas just has an easy tap in. And it's 2-0. And to be honest, we've done very well in this game. We've Wolves we'll started off better. They retained the possession. But we've done well to come back into it and grab ourselves two goals. Will Hughes for Wolves. Tries to get to Shaw. Is that Luke Shaw maybe? Could very well be. But Wolves are building it up nicely. No tackles seem to be going in. Zaha on the right hand side. Oh what a good goal. We just couldn't get the ball. It was a nice cross in from Zaha. And Gosicki pulls one back for Wolves. As much as it's not my team, I kind of admit it was a good. It was a nice goal. Nice builder play. Hughes finds a heart, and mm, I'm going to put that down to an error from Target. I think should have marked his man. But there's a long way to go yet. You know we're still in front. I'm going to tell him to get if he'll let me do it. Get creative. So it looks like we're going to go into half-time with a 2-1 lead. And you know what? Don't get complacent. And Pereira looks stressed. Why are you stressed, Pereira? You should be fine. I'm not going to change anything tactics-wise. You've done well, Pereira. Just don't get complacent. Although Pereira and Coman are looking very nervous. I might tell them to calm down. But it's Marco Rog outside the box. Oh, it's a screamer from Marco Rog. Who knew that was in his locker? What a strike by Marco Rog. And that might put this game to bed. Lorente plays a 1-2 with Montoya. Rog picks his spot and just smashes it in the corner. And we're going to tell the team to calm down. Because a few of them are looking quite nervous out there. But Denia taking his time. Passes back to the goalkeeper. So Wolves are looking, looking like they're going to play from the back. They've only had one shot on target all game. And they've scored it. Bonatini. So this is what happened last time. They had good passing. 
pass across goal, and the second shot the Wolves, they get their second goal. Again, brilliant passing from Wolves, ripping the team, and they score their second goal. So Pereira and Coleman are looking quite stressed, so I'm going to maybe bring them off. So we're going to bring Milic on for Coleman, if the game will let me do it. Uh, who else, really? Yeah, we'll bring Pereira off for Sancho. Because they are both looking quite stressed. So we'll, we'll relieve the pressure from them. But Wolves again building the play up. I'm starting to get nervous every time Wolves get a chance. Because they've scored every chance they've had. Les Lescano, Bonatini. Ooh. Over the bar. And maybe 80th minute we might make to bring our third sub on. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. We've got a chance. We've got a chance. Corner. Lascelles. Oh, we almost missed it. But there's the fourth goal. Coast into victory. Jamal Lascelles, the centre-back, with the header. We almost missed it by making a change. But it was a free header. He wasn't going to miss a free header. Let's be fair. And with our last sub, I think we'll bring on... Who we got on the bench? We'll bring on a Kanji for Rodrigo Cayo. Because, why not? Why not? We'll go give Kanji some games. He did play well in the Champions League. He got us the goal we needed. And the 89th minute... They can't come back from this, surely. But it does go straight to the cells. Sancho. Because he uses trickery to get the ball to Lorente. It's a good tackle by Luke Shaw. I'm surprised he's not injured. Because he normally is in real life. But Bonatini with the ball. He's played well today, Bonatini. Shaw. Crosses it in. Oh. Timo Horn. Make sure he's there to mop up the defence's mistakes. And Lucas crosses it in. And is it going to be a counter-attack? Yedlin gets it to Grosicki. And come on, Toya, get the ball. He doesn't really need to. Because if he's going to shoot like that, it doesn't really matter. But we've got 10 seconds left of the game. 4-2 up. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for this game. And there is the final whistle. Lucas, man of the match, I would imagine. He has been playing very well. Let's have a look. Who else? So, Marco Rock had a good game, but yeah, Lucas had the 8.5. So, I'm going to praise the team. I'm going to give them a well done, lads. That was a good win. Seem to be very happy, but Marco Rock, screamer, possible goal of the season contender. We'll find out at the end of the season. But there we go, guys. Quality of possession provides victory. And if we look at the league, 16 points. So we're two points off United. City have won every game so far. So they're definitely going to be early season contenders for the league. And if we look at the Champions League table, Juventus lost their game against Atletico. So we're already six points clear of Juventus and Anderlecht. So we've got Atletico Madrid next in the Champions League. So we'll definitely come back for that. Oh, so it's going to be two big teams next episode. We've got Atletico Madrid at home and Chelsea at home as well in the league. Two big games. Where are Chelsea in the league? Eighth place. So, you know, they're, they're on our heels. They're six points behind us. But they're still a very good team. So we're definitely going to have to uh, make sure we're on top form for those two games. So the only game we're going to be missing is the Stoke game away. So hopefully we can get a result there to push us up the table. But as we said, guys, next episode, Atletico Madrid at home and Chelsea at home in the league. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, guys. We upload Saving Swans every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 p.m. GMT. Subscribe for more Saving Swans goodness, and I will hopefully catch you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.